We do indeed. We've managed to come down to Twin Dams, and there you can see him just striding. He's crossing over into Little Gari, so we're not going to be able to have him for very long at all. But he's going down towards the Boon Pan. Hopefully, he's going to have a little bit of a drink. You can see the impalas are shouting at him at the moment, making quite a bit of noise telling him that they've seen him and you'll see impalas will actually run closer towards him like that when they shout at him just to try and keep him in sight and keep him in view and you would think that that distance would be really really close and that this impala would be in a lot of danger but they are well aware of how fast he is and they are much more fleet-footed over that distance and they can get away much quicker than he can get to them but you see he is scent marking so for all of you that have been asking whether or not Hosanna has been scent marking that is a typical scent marking maneuver first to rub the face the glands on the face will then cause this animal to, to secrete from there and that will be a marking and then he lifts his tail and he sprays urine to be able to scent in that area as well. Now I'm going to go forward just a little bit because it looks like he might drink and if he drinks then we can at least see him drinking. I also just want to get off the main road because otherwise we're going to cause a bit of a traffic jam but it seems as though he's going in towards the water hole. Ah, Lara Moa, you say you love that curled tail. It is the best thing, and it is something that we use a lot to spot leopards. When they curl that tail, you can see how that white really contrasts. The rest of his body blends in incredibly well, but when he sticks that tail up and there's that white contrasting bit, it's quite easy to spot them, but it is the best thing when they're getting shouted at. They lift it up as almost like a white flag to say, I'm not hunting you, leave me alone, stop shouting. And I was kind of hoping for a second there when these impalas started to shout at him that it was going to push him back northwards, but unfortunately it seems as though he He's going to meander his way straight south and off into Little Gari, unfortunately. So he was on our side. He must have been around Twin Dams just having a rest during the day today. And he's then decided to move off. What's he found there? He looks as though he's gone into the bush. What's he got? Maybe he's found a little tortoise or a terrapin. Nope. Sharon, you say it's nice to see the beginning of his dewlap. Most certainly, Sharon. It's definitely starting to drop quite a bit now. You're starting to see a little bit of that fold of skin kind of coming out, and it's looking a lot more like a male leopard and a lot less cub-like as the days go on, and he's growing every single day. You can see he's also got a nice full belly. He's been taking advantage of the lambing season with the impalas and has really gone after quite a few different lambs. There's that tail up again, marking territory once again. There he's just looking as the car goes past. I apologize about the vehicles. Unfortunately, where we are, we can't really position ourselves any differently than what we have already. And our view of him is about to disappear in the next few seconds as he just goes behind a little bank. Once he goes behind there, unfortunately, there's very little we can do to keep him. I'm just going to try go forward a bit or maybe back for you, Ferg. Um, there we go. Let's see if we can just keep a view of him a little bit longer as he meanders southwards because he is moving straight off in a southerly direction, which is not ideal. But we were still on our Tundi search and we were just checking the Mulawati when we heard some Impala's alarm calling and we were told that there were Impala's alarm calling close to this area. So we came to just investigate and I'm glad we did. I thought maybe Tundi could be moving around. At the end of the day, she's in a situation where she... Um, would be looking for water and potentially maybe even hunting and, and moving from the areas where they had tracks of her this morning and I thought maybe she might be down at Twin Dams. We know she does come down here every now and then but very pleasant surprise to see the young prince. He's always a welcome sight in our area but I think like I say that is the last view we're going to get of him as he just disappears and watch that camouflage as he goes behind these bushes completely disappears in the space of two or three seconds. Ah. <sighs> It is so good to see leopards again, and particularly Hosanna. It's wonderful when you get back and you see all these characters again and you get to kind of sit with them. And I know this has not been a very long sighting, but it's always very pleasant when we get to see them. So, very nice.